Ever since I got the PS Vita, there's something that I feel like I forgot about. Oh well, I guess it wasn't important. Anyways, why don't I show you some homebrew apps for the PS Vita. First up is Vita DB Downloader. Vita DB is the app that, well, it's going to let you download homebrew apps. It's usually downloaded in the modding process, which I'm not going to show in this video, but I'll include a link to the modding guide for the system. But once you mod your system, you'll have an app called Vita Deploy, which will include an app downloader section where you can download Vita DB and another app called Adrenaline. Adrenaline is a PSP emulator for your Vita, and it makes your Vita into a PSP. Now you can relive the PSP days and go down memory lane. I've heard that you can actually play PSP games or something on here, but I don't know anything about those uh, ROMs because those are ILLEGAL! But what about something more light, huh? A custom theme manager app. This lets you install exactly that, a custom theme. They have some cool themes like a Windows 10 one or an iOS theme. Guess I have an iVita now. Well, there's a theme for everyone on here and you navigate by sliding the touchscreen or using L and R. Now you just press X or use the touchscreen to pick a theme then hit start to install it. And then finally, you'll find a theme in your settings app for you to select, and there you go. Of course, you already know I had to download a Metal Gear Solid theme. Another app I wanted to show you is one that lets you stream your Vita to your PC using a USB cable. You'll need an app called Auto Plugin 2 on your Vita, which I'll have a link to the GitHub page on the description, along with the video I used to set it all up. By the way, you can scan QR codes to install apps on the Vita inside of the Vita Shell app, by pressing left on the D-pad and O at the same time. Once you install the auto plugin too, you just need to install a plugin within the app called UCDC. There's one for the LCD and one for the OLED Vita models. And then on your computer, plug in your Vita and use something like OBS to record or stream your Vita. You'll also need an aux cable if you want sound. Hmm, this reminds me of another streaming app for another console, but I can't quite remember. Oh well, since we're on the topic of streaming, there's another app that lets you do the opposite, stream your PC to your Vita. Moonlight. Stream your PC to your Vita. To stream your PC to your Vita, you'll need the Moonlight app on your Vita and Sunshine app on your PC. This works with AMD too, by the way. I'll have a link to the Sunshine app and just so you know, a disclaimer as usual, I'm not affiliated with any of these videos or websites and use them at your own risk. The Sunshine app actually looks kind of sketchy to be honest, but once you set everything up, you'll have your PC streaming to your Vita. Now yes, it's not perfect and there is a noticeable lag. I'm using Ethernet on my PC, but I've also tried on the laptop with Wi-Fi using a Wi-Fi hotspot as well. You might not be able to play something that requires flawless precision, but slower titles like RPGs or something like that can be playable on here. Maybe your results will vary depending on your internet and whatnot. But why don't we switch gears to something a bit different? PS Vita Dent. Hmm, I just got deja vu, this app looks familiar. Anywho, PS Vita Int is an app that shows detailed info about your system regarding the model type, the region, the firmware it's running, battery information, etc. It shows you important information that might come in handy, just like this next app, LCD Color Saturation. Now this app is for the PS Vita 2000 users and allows you to improve the color saturation on the LCD. Now my Vita being the 1000 version will not improve with this, but if you have the slim model, you can try it out and see if it makes a difference. Okay, how about one last app? Well, that is more of a fun educational app. Consolepedia 3D. This app is basically an encyclopedia of all things gaming and shows a description of the consoles and a really nice 3D model. Up until yours truly, the PS Vita. I know you can just Google consoles and read about them on your smartphone or whatever, but this app is really cool and it shows that the PS Vita community is passionate about the system and the support it has is amazing. There's definitely a lot of apps for a modded PS Vita. Maybe I'll make a part two when I discover more apps, but for now, the custom themes, streaming using Moonlight. Wait, Moonlight? I remember now. Moonlight is the app for the 3DS that lets you stream as well. Of course, the thing I had forgotten about was my other consoles, the Game Boys and the 3DS. I guess I got so excited with the Vita, I forgot where I put them actually. Hmm, I usually have them here on the shelf. All the micros here. Maybe in this drawer? Ah, here they are. Ooh, what the? The Vita? What are you doing on the shelf? Wait, did you push the micro into the drawer? Have you been locking away the other consoles? How could you? I will not stand for this. Wait, what are you levitating? Hold on a second. We gonna talk about this. 